So you guys are wondering why I had the dulcimer out. Uh, this is an Appalachian dulcimer. I picked this up in college and of course never learned to play it. But you know, it's something to strum on. It's like a harmonica. It's, it, once you tune it to some key, I don't even know what key that is, you can kind of play. very hard to play, play it wrong because it's always in one key. It's like a harmonica. So this is a good lead-in into our next project, which is going to be something that's just the opposite. Imagine an instrument that is infinitely variable with no frets, no keys, no valves. And I'm talking about the theremin. The theremin is a old-time circuit that came out of uh, Russia in the 20s. I don't know a lot about this instrument, but I do know that um, in the early days it was simple first generation, second generation tubes uh, became developed in the, uh, in the 20s and uh, I know that Moog picked it up and it became quite popular in horror movies and so on. So knowing very little about the history or what the theremin's all about, I can tell you the basics. The basics are and, and I'm talking about a tube type circuit. I decided to build one for a friend and I didn't want to spend a lot of time designing so I took an old chassis. This happens to be a, a Harman Kardon school amplifier that somebody took apart, took most of the parts off. So I've repurposed it and this is going to be the foundation for the theremin. Now, a proper theremin, and I'm not talking about a toy now, I'm talking about a proper instrument, has two controls. It has a pitch control and it has a volume control. Now there have been a lot of uh, toy theremin circuits uh, with everything from uh, just a couple of oscillators and an AM table radio to photo cells, laser diodes, proximity sensors, you name it, people have come up with a ways to uh, change frequencies with your hand motion. But they usually leave off the volume part, which is probably just as important as the pitch part. So with this circuit that we're going to work with, which is an old circuit that I'm doctoring up, you can see I'm making all kinds of notes. And I'm, I'm going to put together a quickie theremin using some tubes. Uh, right now I'm up to four tubes. I think I can do the whole thing with four tubes and that includes the speaker amplifier. So we'll see what comes of this project. <laughs> 